Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous summertime day. It is hot today. <laughs> so if I start glowing, forgive me. Um, today we're going to be doing another one of these split cup pours in the Fiona style. Um, but I want to try to incorporate some negative space in that. So to that end, this is a 20 by 20. We normally need 16 ounces of paint to cover the canvas. This is a 16 ounce split cup. I'm not going to fill it up all the way. So instead of putting paint to about here, I'm going to shoot for about 12 ounces and just put about this much. And we'll make up the difference with flow extender around the edges so that we can stretch out what we have and hopefully leave some negative space. So, like I said, that's a 20 by 20. I have taped the back, put my push pins in, and painted my sides and edges with my Amsterdam black. Let me show you the colors real fast. Okay, so the first color we're using is this beautiful creature. This is Arteza's Bordeaux Red, which is gorgeous stuff. Always reminds me of my dear friend Sarah Mack. I love you, Sarah. Beautiful stuff. The pouring medium tonight is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and a little bit of water. Okay, the next one we're using is this one. This is Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold from Golden. This is a very strange color. It looks like nothing I would ever pick out when it's here in the cup, ever in a million years. I'm gonna add a bit of water to this too. But when you use it <laughs> with different colors, it does amazing things. So this is my trust the process color. This is the, you know, believe what all the professional artists are telling you color. <laughs> And the next one we are using is this amazing one, Pevio Studios Iridescent Copper, which I used in the last painting, which was Dances at Sunset. That one was the turquoise, phthalo, and the copper, and Payne's Gray, and we used Jadeite, and we had the Amsterdam Pearl Green in there, and it was such a trip. It was so cool how this was literally in the sun. It was on fire. So my copper obsession has returned. Wait, why don't you take it away? Oh, sorry. So this is Pevio Studios Iridescent Copper. It's just, it's, it really surprised me so much when I took it out in the sun. My, my like, wow. <laughs> okay, next one we have is Amsterdam Naples Yellow. Pretty color, soft butteriness. I did not want to use white because I didn't want to get pink. So. We're using the Naples yellow instead. Oops. And I encourage you to check your consistency several times, especially if you had your paint sitting. Like I said, today's very hot. It's about 90 degrees. I mixed these about half an hour ago, and it seems like they did thicken up, so that's why I'm adding a bit of water now. Okay, and that's the Naples yellow. I'm making a mess everywhere. And then I also have here Decor Americana Decor Metallics in Champagne Gold. This is not the 24 karat, this is Champagne. And this one does beautiful things when it's dry. I really, really like that color a lot. Okay. And then I have Amsterdam. Let me see which black is this. Lamp Black. This is what I'm using as my base coat flow extender. I'm not going to do a base coat, we're going to do a flow extender. This is also mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, and it's thinner than everything else. So, okay. All right, so here we go. We're going to layer our 16 ounce cup with only about 12 ounces of paint, hopefully. Now, how I want to put them in the cup, the chambers, is <laughs> a whole other ballgame. So I definitely have figured out that the two side chambers give you the most color that's going to end up on the canvas, and that's fine. And to that end, I want to use the Bordeaux Red. And this side, we're not going to fill it up all the way. We're going to stop about there. And then I debated on whether or not I wanted the copper or the quinacridone nickel as a gold next to it, but I do want the copper in the center chamber. So now I'm going to put the quinacridone nickel as a gold next to the Bordeaux red. And get about the same amount as the Bordeaux in there. Now we're going 
put the copper in the center chamber. didn't want the Naples yellow next to the black on the base coat, so now the Naples yellow is going in this fourth chamber. And we're going to use the champagne gold in the last chamber. I highly recommend you go and wash your cup as soon as you're done pouring because if you don't, it will start to dry on there. <laughs> All right, that's a 20 by 20. I'm debating if I want to, I'm gonna pour a little puddle of the champagne gold. Kind of... Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go. So up high, and I'm not gonna stay super slow this time like I did before. not in the middle. That's really cool. I love that Bordeaux. I like the zigzag. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Let's put down our flow extender now. Sides and edges are already painted, so I don't need to worry about are they going to be covered. I don't have enough flow extender on there where it is going to be covered. I don't want to torch it yet. Oh my. Okay, so what do I really like the most? I love this center section. I love this like fanning here. I love that the Bordeaux is the background color, and I really like what the Champagne and the Naples Yellow are doing, and the copper is in there. So it's gonna show up more when this is dry, but that's okay. All right, I don't know if we're gonna get our negative space. <laughs> but let's see. I'm gonna walk this down. I'm gonna go off this corner first. Bring it back to the center. Giant feather. <laughs> it's quite a 
a feather in your cap. <laughs> You're very clever. Okay. I'm gonna go down off of this way. So can you leave anything there? No. I wanna stretch this out, so. Center. And I'm going to lock it down nice and slow. Open up those feathers. You see that flow extender is sliding off beautifully, which is exactly what we wanted to happen. No, no negative space, sorry. come off down there. I can't think of anything I don't like about it. You have great balance, lots of interest. I like it. I love the Bordeaux, and I love the quinacridone nickel as a gold going through the Bordeaux. And I can see the copper in there. I don't know if you guys can yet. I like what the Naples yellow is doing, contrasting against that. I really like it in between all that champagne. I think I like the composition. What I don't like is that I'm getting one black cell right there. So I'm gonna take my Bordeaux red, and cover that up. <laughs> Cause I don't want a black cell popping up in the middle of this beautiful red, so. Okay, um, get this back down just a little bit. Okay, let's torch it. This is really pretty, these are like, it's almost like a fern, but of course ferns aren't red and gold and yellow. <laughs> options at this point HOA. I have more paint left so I could pour it again or I could leave it alone. I think this looks really cool. Why would you want to do it again? And there's know. something bugging you about it. No, I'm just not sure that I love it. That's all. There's kind of a lot of champagne in there. That's the other thing I could do is I could put more. I could either get rid of the champagne or I could layer the champagne with the Naples yellow and then I could use black in that last chamber of the cup or I could put the Bordeaux in two chambers of the cup on both sides and give me a lot more Bordeaux but is this cool? This is cool 
but as you're describing that other thing, that's a kind of horror to me. You want to do that on another canvas or change this one? This has a very fire look to it. Yeah, and I am. I did get. I did. We did get some of these wispies that I want. I think I just wanted some more of the wispiness. I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna. I think I kept one right there, and that didn't work very well. Let's see. Do we have any? Yeah, when you dig down, you're gonna get the black. I kind of hate that I did that. All right. So you say leave it. Yeah. You don't sound happy about no, it. No, I'm not really happy about it. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna pour it again. And I think I'm gonna layer the champagne with the Naples this time and put the Bordeaux red on both sides. So let's do that now. And we're not gonna need nearly as much paint. What about the black? No. Okay. So then we're going to use... Let's change up the order. No, let's not change up the order. Okay, we're just going to put on Nicolas of Gold. Then Copper. I lass, I am ready. <laughs> Here we go. still in there. All right, that's okay. I like this better. More of those wispy things. Okay, happier. Let's do this. Also, I like that there's more of the Bordeaux red. Go away, bug.
Alright. That's cool. So we did end up with negative space after all. It was just red negative space. <laughs> you think HOA better? Oh yeah. Okay. And I like that the champagne is still there, but it's kind of ghosty. It's not as solid as it was in the last pour. And I love what the Naples yellow is doing against the red and that copper is right there and then there's the nickel as well. So I think this is going to dry really, really nicely. And I'm very happy with it. Let's torch it real quick. So, just, you know, keep playing with it till you're happy. Don't stop with something that doesn't make you happy, that doesn't give you joy, because what's the point of wasting the canvas and the paint and all that if you don't like it? It must spark joy. <laughs> you're right. It's true that we've been having a closet cleaning <laughs> here at our house for all of us, and it's actually, it's so nice. I've cleaned my closet. I'm all happy about it. I keep going in there and just looking around. <laughs> okay. Great. So, this is looking much better. I'm much happier with the red as the negative space. Um, I'm happy with the Naples yellow. I'm kind of happier that the champagne is more ghosty. Um, the nickel azul gold looks like baby poop, but it will dry beautifully. <laughs> As always, huge thank yous to my dear Fiona. Love you a lot, girl. This is cool. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will show you this one when it's dry. We'll be right back. Okay. Better. Okay. So this is a couple days later. It is totally dry now. That Bordeaux red, man. <laughs> it's just beautiful so bright and like still warm I don't know this whole thing kind of reminds me of fire of course <laughs> you can see all those lovely metallics blinging in there I hope you guys can that copper is amazing Bebio Studios iridescent copper and the soft gold which is very soft you see it from this angle kind of ghostiness right in there just really pretty stuff I really like this one a lot. I am glad that I poured it again. I do like this composition better than the other one. Although the other one was pretty cool too. But this one just sort of makes my heart very happy. <laughs> I love all these soft little wispy lines. Really pretty. Like flames almost. How rare. <laughs> and uh... I don't know. It was fun. Lots of fun. So thank you guys so much for being here. And big thank yous to my sweet Fiona for all her inspiration and her love and her support. You are amazing and I love you so much. And uh, I love you guys too. So we will see you guys for the next one. Have a great day. Bye.